did clockwork and then they followed that up with a lone druid uh I think the bands that Vici put forward were completely the correct ones. Oh, this might not be uh -oh. too good, though. Oh, that's not a good spot to run. I'll miss the white one. As XM just charges in, Yang lines up the paralyzing cask as well. So already XM's off to a great start. And <laughs> He's stuck in here. <laughs> oh. Easy CS. <laughs> he gives him a dip and he feeds over a train. So yeah, we saw Thompson in the, in the previous game put a lot of emphasis on, on making rotations. Bottom Yang might be in some trouble again with the right clicks coming through. This double range lane for T1. Importantly, the first movement from Tops, and they smoked onto the Observer Ward. So Vici Gaming are aware of this. This up is three. They can TP in as well if they need some extra numbers to try and help out. But look at the wrap around the clock where Cogs holds Frisk into play. Zephyr, a worthwhile sacrifice of his own life to make sure that Vici Gaming will not retreat. But XM, he showed up to the party with a trample straight on top of Tops, and there's nothing that Arn is going to be able to do. Able to get on away, but it's causing him to suffer in terms of that net worth. A lucky root coming through here from Ana. Will he be able to claim it? Again, again, he's praying. RNG, oh. okay. Again? A oh, XM? Oh, it looks like oh, this is very awkward. <laughs> I'll try and see if anyone from Vici Gaming wants to play top. One like person with Ana. Yeah. Oh, Zephyr. Oh yeah, good, good, good assistance there from Frisk. He knows that he's not able to just drop the... Uh, who actually steals the Arcane Rune and doesn't feel too bad about popping it, the Shapeshift as well because of the relatively lower cooldown. Is anyone going to be able to help Topson though? Hunter's busy taking the top tower and you can maybe make the TP in here on Cuckoo if you're wanting to. Yeah, here we go. He's like uh, baiting out for as long as he can. He's getting close to the tower. Finally, one person will TP in, but... A little bit too late on Zephyr. He might have just TP'd to his own grave. Look at Arno. He says, peace, brother. What nothing to do with his skirmish as XM gets the double kill. And this might be the T1 tower now. They've got no creeps, but... Yeah, but they're just saying, look, we might be giving up one, but if we can get multiple from it in exchange, then it's going to be well worth it. Static Storm's already been used, though, and White Mon's completely out of mana. Unless they get another lucky route, he should trouble? just wait for him away. Ooh. Never mind. Oh, still on cooldown, and he maxed all the way to strength, so... You've got one of these heroes like the Disruptor, where you have a good early game, and he's able to snowball into an exceptional one. Zephyr, though, another death. Oh, Frisk might have to... Okay, never mind. Wolves are going to be able to cut through. Hey, one, they are starting to connect, though. Topson and Cuckoo, hand in hand. Pine is going to be able to get the combination up, but Topson's in trouble, especially with XM. Charging to the middle, and now he's going to pick up and chuck down the Disruptor as well as they've got big primal beast issues seven one and zero but who can get caught out on the backside by frisk we were talking about the win rate on this earth shaker one and five but can he make the big turnaround to change that smoke coming through Sam, he'll he, start the fight he onto Arna. he's isolated from the team inside the river is going to be able to get the ultimate form off so the bonus health that might not be enough it looks like Vici gave me half the damage in Fritz. He's done it. In with the Echo Slam. On to three. Your team fights are killing. And Roche for the grand prize. Oh, not just the Echo, but the perfect Fisher block as well. Making Anna feel like he could go off into that area to potentially get back to safety. But did you look Something at Yang's camera as well when he died there? I did, just no, to I, see I, if there was anything. No, it, nothing happened, but I was just lane, like... XM. Okay. Glimpse into Static Storm with Arna okay. here nearby and Topson as well for good measure. The big streak for them to find. It's going to be White Mon that claims it, which is honestly not the worst. But unless you're getting kills, unless you're farming heroes, then you have a much harder time. Smoke from Vici Gaming. Look at the wraparound. Topson's going to get the initial jump. It's on to Friss. Static Storm should be able to secure the kill, but T1, they've got to get out. Topson's getting XM's stalked coming. from the walls. So they're going to see White Mon in, in the tree line, and XM should be fast enough to cancel that. That is one beautiful thing about Vici Gaming. All of T1. Oh, Frisk. They've only smoked us two at the moment. He's considering oh, it. Cuckoo, don't group up. Oh, don't group up. This is going to be a big echo slam. Frisk is here with XM's follow-up. Oh, no. They group up and Vici Gaming penalize him for that. It's that minus 50 second true form cooldown that you're going around. Oh, yeah, B. That'd be big. Uh oh, there's going to be a lot of damage nice with the double blink. damage rune from Topson. Yes. I'll bring down the Lycan in our Frisk. Easy use to the glimpse back as well as T1, a successful smoke, will net them two kills. And now this will give them an opportunity to try and get the map into a position. 
jump up from tier two. So they've already gotten a little bit lucky there on Vici Gaming, being able to pick up the Elven Tunic. Perhaps Manfight a bit easier. Oh. XM mid lane, oh! look at the hook from Zephyr! On to three, stuck inside the cog, so they've been able to isolate XM's Primal Beast. He's just able to he's walk regen. away off the back of the BKB, now he's got the regen rune, and might catch T1 off guard. As Erika, meanwhile, continuing to stack up the damage off the top, and stuck inside the middle, and Vici Gaming somehow lose no one. It was looking like a disaster start. You can't go though. If Hookshot's on cooldown, there's no way for T1 to start. No, nope, maybe Thompson now you wants can. to be playing with the tree volley. No Glitch ages. back. XM's gonna charge in. Look at the damage! Oh no! Erica doesn't have an opportunity for the attribute shift. They clean up to XM stuck inside the base as T1 beautifully done. The cogs to push him out so he couldn't find. Obviously, that. Oh, Frisk on top of Cuckoo. I'm, is he able to claim this? He's got the double damage, so maybe. <sighs> Cheeky little plays here. Look at, I mean, Ooh, look Thompson's at him. There yeah, he is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, what's going on? Ooh, the hex. <laughs> he ran back to Cuckoo, thought he was going to teleport. They cut him off. Another kill for T1. But T1 going to move to the triangle, the rocket flare as well. Uh oh, XM, they're running straight to T1. XM's not going to be ready. That's an Aghanim Scepter Static Storm. There's going to be no BKB to protect him. It does have the Can they continue though. with the team fight though from VG Gaming? Eric is going to try and pummel into Ana. Echo slams out from Frisk as well. It's going to lock the Lone Druid into place. Is Erika starting to stack up the damage, but they don't have detection. Ana protected inside the Glimmer Cave for the moment, but XM charges into the middle, gets the Pulverize it's out alive. as well, but Ana is still slipping away. Finally, they're going to be able to bring him down. They'll deal with the bear that provides the damage to get rid of the carry on T1 and they'll find Zephyr as well. Push up onto that high ground. They're not going to give them the opportunity this time around, but they've got all of their ultimates available. Oh, this would be a big Thompson, kick. He's going to get blown up. Oh, the damage coming through for the Morphling. Thanks to the power rune will force a buyback out of Thompson. The Hex is there as well. Might catch him off guard. The fall from Zephyr. They need the damage. All right. It'll come through thanks to Arna's bear. The Static Storm's ready for round two. T1, they can turn it back around here. The Tree Volley pummeling through. Thompson's going to jump him. into the middle as well. They brought down Erika and now VG Gaming need to get out. But can they cover the retreat? Can they cut their losses? They want XM. XM they know he bought back. He bought back prior. The Primal Peace caught out inside the lead. There's nothing VG Gaming can do to keep alive their position too. Frisk put jump in the cheese. Hail Mary play. It'll buy enough time for XM to play around with the cheese. He's not going to be able to onslaught away, so instead, it's going to look to try and get as much damage and take Whitemon into the grave with him. But that will not be the case as T1 protect their captain. They protect Whitemon, <laughs> but Frisk mind. will finally get the finishing blow. As T1, they'll still catch up to him nonetheless. Some crits raining down thanks to the tree volley. And T1, <laughs> a big opportunity for them to walk it down mid. It's a great ward to play with. Look at the jump as well. Thompson. I see him. He's pretty separate from the team. Well, they almost found They want to go on this for Vici Gaming. Eric is actually going to waveform into the middle. Trying to target, target down the tiny at the moment. They won't have the damage as Thompson steps out to the right side. But they've been able to deal with Whitemon. And it looks like T1 need to get out. Back towards a triangle. Zephyr is in a bit of trouble at the moment. Hobson's also trying to escape, but no one will be able to catch up. Cuckoo's going to be able to BKB TP. Zephyr should tick out to the Maledict. He will die inside the base. So Vici Gaming finding both supports. Roche is up in a minute. Yeah, lucking out on T1 oh, that time. If it was another fight that they lose right before the Roshan and it was super quick. Oh, no. Yeah, having to be a little careful here. Well, they know. They know Arnas here. He's alone. What can he do? He's going to have to get crafty to be able to escape. As Cuckoo's XM. Coming. Onslaught to the right side. He's going to need help, and he's going to need it fast. Maybe the bear can look to address the primal beast. They're actually going to turn to deal with Cuckoo instead. Stuck inside the sprout, so the waveform will provide the vision. Vici Gaming, they're still on the top blink. of Arna. BAB with the blink in. He's got an abyssal blade. Arna needs help. Dobson's here. He's going to try chucking the damage from afar, but with the BKB protecting XM for the moment, so the Savage Roar is not going to be an issue to push him away. T1 not wanting to buy back just yet. Another re-summon from Arna. Oh, How is they going? The Bash is in the control. Erika goes down to T1. They baited them. They set the trap inside the base. They'll be able to turn to Yang. He's trying to escape to the northern side. They'll finally kill him off in the tree line. It tops him. Gets the triple kill and T1. All they needed was the buyback from Cuckoo.
they just kept kiting and kiting and kiting with how damn tanky. Frisk! And now he's on the higher ground. He just oh. detected the, oh, the, oh, the force! Oh, the force! Oh, no, oh, no! Another. We dogged it doesn't have his own force! Oh, no! The worst sequence of events here from VG is now mid lane as well! Why, one? He's got Erica! The Morph Link just bought back. Where's the control? Can Cuckoo get in range? Ooh. Eric is not going to mess around. A BKB preventing the Hex coming out from Cuckoo, but that was almost the end of the game. Uh, you, you're going to need a smoke here from Beachy. The Rocket Flare and the Bear in the front line just giving them way too much information. T1 know exactly whenever they're going to get the jump. Could be the last team fight. XM, chuck in, double fissure. Not the worst start, because Frisk has got the follow-up Echo Slam as well. They're going to try and block Thompson at the moment. A decent amount of damage coming out throughout the Pulverize, but Thompson's going to step out to the right side. But Vici Gaming, they've locked onto their target. Can they reset, however, on Rainy? Because Arna's still in the middle, trying to 1v1 Erika at the moment. Inside the Sprout, they've been able to deal with the first side. Vici Gaming... Can they set themselves up for round two? Arna's vulnerable. He doesn't have the boys nearby to protect him. His XM trampling all over the Druid. And they'll bring him down. And now they'll turn to Nature's Prophet. It's Cuckoo just bought back. Gotta be cautious here, T1. You can't continue to bleed your members. Such Thompson. a heavy commitment to Thompson. He's got White Mon nearby. Static Storm's gonna get laid down. Thompson. But look at Erica. He doesn't give a damn about the Static Storm. Erica just pummeling in. Left, Anna. right, and center. The answers are there now. Arna separated as well. T1 are crumbling. It's Vici Gaming. They can walk it down. A Glyph will only delay this. I think we're going game three. So that he can spam that rocket flare to push out out the waves. Mm. I mean, he's not, he's but just looking I wish he did. Oh, this team. Oh, no, this team. <laughs> I mean, desperate times, go for desperate measures. They're going straight to your fours, yeah. and why not? I, yeah, we got game three. Oh, my, what was this game? It's only fitting we go the distance. T1 Vici Gaming, game three, you love to see it.